So, hello fellow coin collectors, how are you going today? And my name is Glenn, and today I have some Russian coins here. These are coins issued just before the Russian Revolution, as you can tell by the dates. 1906, 15, 1913, so they're just a bit over 100 years old. And, well, they are silver. So if you're into collecting silver coins, I recommend you get the uh, Russian set. They uh, these ones were first issued in 19, oh not 19, in 1867, and uh, they were stopped being issued in 1917, so about 101 years ago. And well, Russia has been issuing silver coins for probably close to I don't know. 600 700 years since roughly about the 1400s the uh, Copic wire coins I should get a few of those and show you so these coins are pretty basic on one side they have the date on the other side they have the Russian Eagle let's see if we can get a close-up that doesn't Ooh. Ooh, yeah so there you go and in the middle in that coat of arms is St. George slaying the dragon so that that was just a typical Christian motive so uh, a lot of countries have adopted it and here we have uh, a lot of different coats of arms from um, I didn't look it up but I presume different either different regions of Russia or uh, the different royal, f uh, different families within the royal family, because they change their name. And we have a a globe and a mace, and we have two initials down there. And these are the uh, mint mark mint initials. On this one, B C, or that will be V S, is Viktor Smirnov. Victor Smirnov. I'm not too sure if that's pronounced properly, but as you can see with the detail on this coin, it's actually quite a beautiful coin. The Russian coat of arms is actually quite a beautiful coat of arms. All the coat of arms of the royal families are pretty good. Here I have a close up of it. As you can see, the coin's a little bit worn, but it's still in high condition. And if we have a look at the coat of arms on the uh, 15 Copic, oh, this is in even better condition. As you can see, the high points are, are worn, but it is in a pretty good condition. And this is exactly how you want your coins in this condition. Because if you can buy them for a low value, you can sell them for a lot more. So here I have the 10 copics, as you can see it's actually in poorer condition than the rest. And it has what looks like a backwards E and a ooh, upside down P. But that's an E and a B, so this stands for Elikum Babiant. Yeah, my Russian's not too good. All these coins are milled, as you can see. As a... Uh, Milling, milling's the same on all the coins, as well as uh, the the 10, 15, and 20 copic. You can actually get these coins in a uh, five, 25, and 50 copics, as well as high coins of one to uh, I presume I think 10 rubles. 10 rubles would be silk, uh, gold. Uh, these the 10 and 20 have a mint mark which is a uh, St. Petersburg the 15 which is the date 1915 has no mint mark on it but it's still made in St. Petersburg or back then it was called Petrograd uh, the in oh, I've already said the initials on this one so what's the mintage of these coins 
Oh, but first I'll get into the silver. The silver content, so there's all 50% silver. Uh, this coin is 1.8 grams, so the 10 copec has 0.9 grams of silver. This one is 2.7 grams, so it has uh, 1.35 grams of silver. And the 20 is, well, it's double the 10 copec, so should be 3.6 grams, which would be 1.8 grams of silver. <clears throat> and the value of this one is uh, 60 Australian cents of silver, 90 Australian cents, and $1.20 Australian of silver. So you can actually convert Australian dollars into your own currencies. You have the internet, so it's pretty easy. Uh, as for the mintage, uh, the 40.1906 is 17.5 million coins, so it's quite a high mintage. Uh, but this 15 copec has a high mintage of 59.333333 million. So it's quite a high minted coin, so it's not really that collectible. Uh, there are ever 15 copex to actually have a lower mintage, so you're probably better off getting them. But if you want to collect this coin, a high grade is the way to go. But this 20 copec is one of the low minted coins, uh, it only has a 4.25 million which for Russian coins of that time is actually quite a low minted coin but the best one to get is 1885 which only has 1.6 million so but if you're collecting dates 1913 this um, condition is quite a good uh, condition to get because uh, getting a better condition of 1913 is probably a bit harder because of the low mintage and I also like uh, this, uh, these lines on the sides. Quite a beautiful coin it is. Early Russian coins are actually a lot better. And uh, are highly collectible. So, thank you very much for watching. I recommend that you actually collect Russian coins. Because uh, they're quite an interesting set to collect. And just have an awesome coin collecting time. Thank you people. Bye bye.